Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to TCG Card Shop Simulator. So, off camera, just putzing around, I changed the configuration of the store slightly. I rotated these displays to um, be oriented 90 degrees from where they were so that uh, it just looks like they provide a little bit more space. And then I moved my shelves over to the very, very maximum to kind of try to make them line up and wrap around the corner with these to provide just a bit more space right here uh, and look more contiguous. But something else I wanted to show you, which is cool, is when you do have some um, space and you're just wondering, like, well, what else can I fit in my shop? If I push Q to pick up this empty bookshelf, or not bookshelf, just item shelf, you can see that this is was actually updated recently the door itself has an outline and i could actually put a shelf um over here against this wall you know like right there and i can even put one back here no one steals yet so we don't have to worry about you know people just reaching in and taking something and running out and i can't fit anything over here because of the walking space for that and i don't think i could fit another full shelf here but i might be able to fit a wire shelf right there and what i'm doing is being unbelievably frugal and trying to maximize the interior space that i have without expanding um our shop floor plan such that the rent would increase until we absolutely have to so before we open we just kind of see if we have any reasonable cards to sell and we you know honestly don't but um, we'll put some stuff out there. Okay. Now, one tip I got was, that was interesting was, if you want to save some money sometimes, you can look at the price per pack for um, buying boxes versus buying packs. And if the box price is significantly cheaper, you can buy boxes, open them, and then stock your shelves with packs from the boxes to save money. Um, I'm going to end the day. All right, here we go. Another day, open up. Um, I don't think there's anything I need to stock. I'm going to open another box, though. I just need a bunch of singles. We're trying to uh, get enough money to buy the epic cards. Okay. This guy went mafia. Wow. There's a run on basic packs. I must have them. I want to see if I have them priced like way below market value or something. Mm hmm. Okay. Yeah, we're out of mafia, it looks like, unless I have some over here. No, it's empty. What do you got? No, I need to buy them. Thank <laughs> you. 
Creep. All right, so, uh, running low on several items, and I really have no money to upgrade right now. I need to buy rare packs, common packs, yeah. No problem. You try to sneak that card in there. Actually, speaking of cards, where's my expensive card? Um, over here. What's market price for this? Oh man, I'm selling it for so cheap. Um, I can't sell it for that. Nobody's buying it anyway, so. Um, So one thing I want to do is, okay, what's the market price? Actually, I'm going to set this. What's the market price? There we go. All right. I also want to, uh, let's check it. Stock order. We can buy the license. We will. We're going to try to buy one box of those and one more box of these. But we need some money first. That's not going to do it, buddy. That's not going to do it. That's not bad. That helps. All right. They're at least playing. Mavid so on green boxes like very very well. All right, the time is now. Now I'm gonna quickly price these. Stinky. All right. Let's open some packs. 
Let's get some new cards. There we go. At least it's a card worth selling. There we go. Make sure we have inventory. We are out of black dice. Yellow boxes. Stock it. Accessories. Black dice. Yellow boxes. We're looking for a, a big hit here to sell. It's not happening. But that ties in. We're going to go to stock order and we need to buy... Uh, some more of these. Hi. Yellow boxes, huh? How did I know? Oh gosh, okay. Well, I can afford this, but the issue is that I'm now out of, uh... No, I have four cleansers left, I guess. I assumed I was out. Okay, great. So, we're just going to keep everything filled to the best of our ability. I'm sure the prices are pretty reasonable. I'm just going to round that, make my life easier when we sell them. Alright, so I need both kinds of boxes. Let's get them. Oh, I already got these, okay. I gotta take those out. Oh my god, maybe I can't take them out with this guy's spending powers. No, I could still take it out. What I'm going to do is remove, uh, I'm going to add cleanser, but I'm going to go to the cart and I'm going to move, remove that. There we go. Let's kind of get ourselves stocked back up here. We have a stinker in the store. Are you leaving? Look. Uh oh. Are you coming in here? Welcome. guy's buying a couple singles. Alright. 
Let's pay for some cards. Oh my. It's been this kind of a day, hasn't it? Now this guy might not be coming inside. He might just be staggering around outdoors, which is fine. Oh, we might be closed. There's that. Wonderful. So, they might buy something, but this guy is solo, so we gotta pick up his table. See if he wants to buy anything. He didn't. He's out. Fine, buddy. Do that. I like it. And... What else? Do I need to stock anything over here? This looks okay. Blue dice seem to be a problem. We need to just keep the uh, single stocked. We haven't been very lucky with our epic packs yet, but that's okay. Uh, let me just check the price here. What's the market price? Yep. I thought this guy was going to buy it when I was like repricing it and I almost, um, I almost threw up. It still would have been fine if he bought it at the market price, I guess. Although since it hasn't sold, it doesn't really have much of a value, does it? This guy's like, I will buy all of your sleeves so you have none for everybody else. Okay. <laughs> oh, I didn't price this. Dear God. Fine.
There you go, buddy. Alright, uh, we want to buy some new items to put on the shelf. Can't get that. Bills are due, gotta be aware of that. Alright, we need rare packs, that's for sure. We could buy these uh, card sleeves that are expensive. The play mats. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy the nicer sleeves. Thank you for buying from our store. It comes with a complimentary spray. So I'm gonna put these sleeves down here. So we need epic packs as well. We got a stinky. Let's just try to get some cards that we can fill up the outdoors, our displays with at least. There we go. A nice $80 surprise. There it is. Thank you. 
That's a good pack. We got a stinky. We are up to shop level 13. We have a stinky alert. Oh my goodness. bit of everything. Now that's a big purchase. Nobody wants these sleeves. <laughs> uh, we need regular sleeves. Rare packs. Um, blue dice. You know, the good thing is we're at least, you know, able to stock up our inventory pretty well. Get things replenished on the shelves. Oh, I'm out of... No, I have Mafia. But I need Mafia. I need, like, basically um, one order of each of my board games. Got them both. We're getting good reviews. Whatever that's worth.
All right. All right, well, we're able to sell, at least put a few more cards out there. Just waiting for these guys to leave. They might buy something. There you go. A horribly ugly $70 card. It's fantastic. Who doesn't want that? Alright, anything I can stock right here? This is empty, so... Get rid of it. Oh, they're leaving. Okay. Oh, he is going to maybe buy something. Well, he bought, he bought something. He might have bought the $70 card. Oh, he didn't. He bought a cheapo, but that's okay. All right, awesome. So you could see we're, you know, almost halfway through level 13. We now have, obviously, epic packs. We bought these new sleeves. We've got our little expansion nook over here. We have plenty of inventory to restock with, and we're at 781, so we're steadily, steadily increasing the amount of money we have already here on day 14, and we have plenty of room to grow. I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.